Okay, I'm gonna show you what I've done. Uh, we're resolving this water getting into the cabin of this Ford Taurus X. And this uh, is probably uh, the same fix for many different Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury models, as well as other cars, other brands. Uh, see my previous videos on you know the steps we've taken thus far to get to this point. But what we've done, the black cowling that is usually you know in the lower part that black cowling that has all these vents I've got it flipped upside down right now and all of the original weather stripping that was on it was completely flattened uh, like here you go here's what came off of this thing all this is weather stripping and it had various thicknesses in various all around the perimeter of it all across the center of it it had this sort of weather stripping from the factory but it's obviously pointless now it's all flattened it doesn't do anything so that's one reason why so much debris can find its way down beneath it and into this chamber here and here so what i did i took um I mean, you can use whatever you can use a gasket scraper like this gasket scraper or just a razor blade just be careful doing it and you'll have to peel off all of the existing gasketing and, and weather stripping that's all through here and all through here you'll have to take it off basically clean it off really well you may have to use a little contact cleaner if there's any adhesive left or maybe a heat gun if you have a heat gun or a hair dryer, it'll make the old stuff come off easier. And then I use just standard one-sided tape weather stripping. You can get that at any hardware store, auto parts store, Walmart, Home Depot, whatever. It's just regular old foam stripping that has adhesive on the back side of it. And just laid it all across there. Same thing, laid it all across there. It also required it here and on the other side, right up through there. And then this is called D profile. See this? You can get this also in the weather stripping section of most of your major hardware stores and big box stores. Because this is in the shape of a D, if you can see that. It's shaped like a D. And that I put along through here and across the top. It also has, you know, just a strip of adhesive on the back of it. Very easy, just make sure everything is good and clean and dry. And then, uh, you know, just lay it across there, peel the backing off and just lay it on down, just like any old weather stripping you know, in the house or whatever. And um, that's the size I used, 5 16 wide. This one here looks like it's about 3 quarter inch wide. And it's fairly thick. It may be, it may look a little too thick, but once I get it in place, it should mash down. And uh, see, it's almost like memory foam. See that there? Anyway. That's what I have done. And, uh, and also make sure you clean out inside here too because there was leaves and debris tucked into that corner of that thing that you couldn't really see. So just, you know, clean it, rinse it, br brush it, dry it off, and then go to weather stripping it. Once I put this back in place with the new, better, improved weather stripping, it should help prevent debris from falling down under it because it's usually like laying across right here and debris would always go down underneath it and then collect down in there so that was part of the problem to begin with as of course this is a you know a 12 year old car so whatever that's also another problem and it was mostly stored outside and used outdoors instead of parked in a garage so that's also an issue but uh, there you go Weather strip the underside of your cowling. 
oh and this little guy too all right this is the little trough that goes it hooks right there bend it over lay it down it didn't it didn't have any weather stripping either but you could see where there used to be some and it was wobbly before now it's not notice that's nice and firm that's because i did some weather stripping right there and there you know i mean it had some of that on it already from the factory but it was worthless as well so you know we're making it brand new again right check that out slides in place your little rain trough it'll stay put no more wobbling very nice so yeah this is a becoming an all-day project but whatever you know when you got a car that's 12 years old and 165,000 miles you have to do some things to it and it's not like you'll have to do this again at least not 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 as long as i've owned this car i've only had it uh, a couple of years but i should never have to do this again for the life of this vehicle see it's all kind of like memory foam it should do it should do fine we shouldn't have this problem again see it's it's like this here it's only got adhesive on the underside because when you peel this part off there's no adhesive here which is this part okay you can get this stuff at anywhere home depot lowe's walmart just go to the weather stripping section you know usually near the appliances and whatnot and um i think this should work out fine in fact i'm quite pleased with how this has gone so far so check out my previous videos on this project uh, we had after a hard rain we would have water making its way into the floorboard of the car and that was because there's drains down in there and there and of course on the driver's side also those drains were completely clogged full of crap and leaves and debris and muck so it took quite a while to thoroughly clean them out uh, see my previous videos on how I did that and um, you know it just takes it takes time it takes time it takes elbow grease you know it takes effort to thoroughly clean that whole this whole area out under the windshield and if you do it properly you should never have to do this again unless you keep the car for another 10 or 15 years then and you store it outdoors so be it anyway that's that man it should be fine um yeah this is a 2008 ford taurus x this wagon they only made for two years from ford uh it was formerly the ford freestyle which was a 05 to 07 but this car is way better than the freestyle performance is really good this thing has like 280 horsepower almost you know this thing rips man this car flies it's got a ton of storage space stereo is awesome you know you can find these dirt cheap used and yeah they have a few little knickknack issues that my previous videos will help you they'll help you resolve but overall this is a really good car you know it's not the sexiest thing in the world but who cares right you can get one dirt cheap it gets good gas mileage real good performance nice features inside and uh, so you have to fix a few things on it so what it, you don't even want to know how little i paid for this car but of course i've done quite a few things to it since i bought it but whatever there you go all right y'all check it out tons of videos we got over 1500 videos on our channel and you'll probably find something on there that will help you so like subscribe follow click the bell if you're a new subscriber and we shall see y'all later